um, today I was just going to talk to you guys about um, what it is like to purchase and to own an X racehorse. Um, I think that's something that not many people um, know too much about, and so I wanted to talk to you guys about that as um, my guy Maverick um, is an X racehorse, and uh, I'd love to share my knowledge with you. Um, first, a uh, couple things I wanted to say. I got a new camera. It's actually what I'm filming on. Um, it's the uh, Samsung NX Mini. Uh, this is what it looks like in the box. It's really awesome because it's like a little, like, small, like, snap and shoot camera, but then it has this awesome flip up screen so I can make sure when I'm vlogging for you guys that um, I'm actually in the screen and you can see me because that's kind of important. And um, I'm going to take that next weekend because I have a three-day horse show next weekend, so I'm super excited. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing jumpers. Um, I'm going to be trailering him down. Um, it's just about 45 minutes away, so it's not too bad. I'm going to trailer him down um, on Friday. I'm actually going to take Friday off of work and uh, so I have a mini horsey weekend vacation. And I'm going to trailer him down there and then get him all set up in his stall. Um, and then the first day is like ticketed rounds, so it's really cool. You can like practice, make sure you are at the right level. So I'm gonna do three classes that day, I think, and then two on the second day, which is actually like the show day, the big show day. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys so you can see what it's like for me to show prep, get him ready. I'm actually gonna be by myself, so hopefully I can get lots of videos for you. Um, but yeah, um, and oh, I'm gonna be staying with my family down there because it's nice and close to them, so that will be really fun. Um, so yeah, so owning a racehorse is you know pretty a pretty big commitment. Um, I actually got into it because I volunteered for an organization and I realized how wonderful these horses are and how sort of misunderstood they are. Um, I think people are starting to catch on now that these horses are coming off the track. A lot of them have or may have injuries, but a lot of those injuries are things that they can overcome and they make amazing horses for you for whatever discipline you're looking for. Um, so first of all, I would really recommend you work with an organization. I worked with Cantor California. They're nationwide. They have a bunch of different organizations across um, the U.S. Um, they're amazing. They will actually take some horses off the track and start retraining them for you. That process already, do vet checks and everything, and so you can actually save a ton of money, um, but I'll get into that later. Um, and if not, you they list horses that are on the track that are available for adoption, their prices, what might be wrong with them, maybe some videos and photos of them. So it really advertises them in a great way so you can see it. You're not just sort of going on the back of the track, maybe your first time ever. And it can be super overwhelming and really, um, you feel kind of awkward and like, you know, you're kind of in an unfamiliar place if you're back there um, and you don't want to step in you know, into the wrong situation or be in the wrong place at the wrong time um, on the back of the track. So I really recommend one of those type of organizations. There's quite a few out there, um, but they can provide you with great horses and that maybe have already had those few steps of retraining already, or they've at least sort of like decompressed from uh, being at the track um, while they've been in rehab. So then uh, the second thing is you're going to need a lot of patience. So I got Maverick, um, I adopted him off of uh, Golden Gate Fields racetrack um, and he raced for a long time. He's uh, now 12, um, so I adopted him back in 2008 um, <clears throat> and he stopped racing the year before and he actually moved from um, Hastings racetrack in Canada his show name or race name is Captain Jade. Um, and yeah, he, I just need a lot of patience is a really good thing to, to sort of recommend because you need a lot of time. Um, you have to put a lot of your, um, a lot of your ideas into them. You need to sort of wait. If they're taking them straight off the track, they need to have a good, I recommend honestly six months, um, three months at a minimum, where they can just be a horse, decompress, let them just like relax, don't try to do too much with them, maybe do ground manners and ground lunging or you know, ground driving or things like that to try and get them sort of used to you, but um, they're going to sort of go through this phase. these 
horses are being fed, um, you know, tons of high energy cranes, they're being groomed, they're being walked, then they're racing, then they're walking again, they're being grazed, you know, it's, you know, a lot of things that they have going on in their life. And then you're suddenly like, I'm taking you out of your entire life that you've only ever known was this tiny stall in the racetrack. And then I'm plonking you in another barn and saying, okay, now we're going to do jumping. You know, it's a big, I mean, imagine you, me doing that to you, you're putting in a whole different situation and say, okay, day one, let's go. You know, you'd be like, what? Like, no, I'm confused. So have a lot of patience with them. Know they're going to go through a decline um, as far as physical fitness possibly, um, but I would really recommend just doing, laying that foundation and really building their groundwork and their um, knowledge through that method first. Um, and then sort of start working on dressage stuff I would do first um, when you first start working with them, um, at least for, I honestly, I'd say like four months of like good solid dressage found work before you start, foundation before you start trying to jump them or do anything especially if they're young you know if they're like you know four or younger they're just not going to have first of all they're not going to be grown to the point where they can handle jumping second of all they're just not going to have the mental capacity to be able to learn everything new so just go slow that's my main thing Know what you're getting into as well um, luckily some of these adoption sites will let you know if there is an injury that they maybe had in the past and they may you know may come up again but know that this is an x-race horse they could have issues like any horse can you could spend thirty thousand dollars on a horse and it could still come up lame you know a couple months into owning it so always have you know backup fund on hand these horses will come a lot cheaper um, I think you know that can kind of be a misconception is that oh it's cheap so you know I won't have to have that much money to own the horse but the biggest price in upkeep of a horse is the is maintaining the horse it costs me around I calculated it the other day it's around seven hundred dollars a month to own him just to keep him so you have to be able to have that kind of financial stability to be able to own a horse um, and then you know the huge benefits of adopting a racehorse is this that they bond with you uh, putting in that time in the beginning makes them just your horse you can create you know their learning path whatever way you want them to you know it will there'll be a lot of you know great things you'll come over and then you'll sort of take a couple steps back and then relearn them and each horse has their own way of doing things but it's so rewarding and i really recommend you guys if you are looking for a horse out there please look at these x race horses um you know i obviously don't recommend it for a beginner at all um you're definitely looking for your more intermediate advanced rider who's maybe tried training a horse before um i had a quarter horse first and she was totally broken totally bomb proof but i sort of trained her trained her to be english versus western so that was sort of my first experience of training a horse um and then then i when i got maverick later in college um it was easier to know sort of what things to apply what to expect how fast to expect changes you know because you can ask certain things of them and hope that they're going to understand it and you know one day we'll work on collection at the walk or something and he'll get it but then you have to sort of wait that extra time for him to build the muscle to be able to fully accomplish that so you have to be patient understanding and realize that it takes a lot of time to do but when it is done correctly they are your horse you know they're just completely understanding of you thoroughbreds are super brave super honest and they'll just turn into be your best friend because you've trained them into what you want them to be um which is really sort of the whole thing of it um you know i trained mavic to uh, be a jumper because um, he loves jumping he that's his favorite thing I tried for a long time for him to be a hunter because I liked trying to sort of get him to be a little bit slower because you know in the beginning all he knew was walk and gallop <laughs> but that he just that was not his thing so you sort of have to change your plan around sometimes um, I'd love to do a venting with him if I could but he um, he just hates dressage <laughs> so um I don't really want to put him through that and I love jumping so I just was like well we'll do jumpers you know so just be kind of open it's really hard to push a horse into a cookie cutter mold and be like you are going to be a dressage horse even if they look like a dressage horse it doesn't always
always happens. So yeah, that's pretty much my advice about X race horses um, and retraining them. Um, hopefully down the line, I'll do some more videos for you guys of my retraining. I'll also put in here some videos of um, when I first got him and some photos and stuff for you guys to see how far he's come. Um, so yeah, and please you know leave any comments down below and if you have any questions, any advice you need, or any comments about you know your retraining experience. And please remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep making these videos each weekend for you guys. And uh, hopefully show goes well next weekend and I'll uh, probably post probably each day uh, throughout the show so that uh, you can see uh, how it's going. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Mm -hmm.